have seen the billboards and paid advertisements. $1.3 billion from the Michigan Lottery went to schools last year. We even reported on the story in December when the news release was sent to newsrooms across our state. Mid Michigan Now's Corny Bennett breaks down the numbers in this Crisis in the Classroom special report. Since 1972, the Michigan Lottery has contributed more than $28 billion to the school aid fund. Governor Gretchen Whitmer's office says these dollars improves education outcomes and supports students. But does everyone know how much money from the lottery goes to schools and exactly how much benefits these districts? Did you know a portion of the lottery sales goes to schools? Yes. Yes, I did. I did not know that. That's cool. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Here's the breakdown of the Michigan lottery sales from fiscal year 2023. Three cents funded lottery operations and admin costs. Nine cents went to the commissions for retailers and vendors. 61 cents went to player prizes. And 27 cents went to the school aid fund to support public education. Kim Fisher lives in Linden. She supports dollars going to schools. I'm a former educator and I think Michigan schools should be getting dollars. <laughs> Whether it comes from the lottery, taxes, wherever, but you have to fund the schools. When you hear $1.3 billion, some people think, oh, that's great, funding education. But it's not all going to schools as advertised. Is it misleading to say $1.3 billion going to Michigan schools when it, that's not the case always? Correct. Yeah, it is a little misleading because, like I said, uh, $1.3 billion is going into the school aid fund but not 100% of the school aid fund actually winds up in the hands of our K-12 classrooms anymore. The problem is now money is being funneled from these lottery dollars to other priorities in the state budget. Robert McCann is the executive director of the K-12 Alliance of Michigan. They advocate for education policy. Say about 14 years ago, the legislators started quote unquote borrowing money out of the school aid fund to spend on other programming. And that uh, unfortunately has continued every year and has gone from borrowing to being called transferring. McCann says on a budget, yes, $1.3 billion did go to the school aid fund, but it doesn't all stay there. You know, we fight every single year to say that that school aid fund was always intended to only go towards our K-12 schools. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to get the legislature to take any action to stop those transfers. Uh, it does have a direct impact on the services that we can provide our students. Services like tutoring, mental health, and also safety measures are areas schools look to invest in. But all of that takes money, and right now, when dollars get funneled elsewhere, those support services get cut. If we were keeping all of the money that was intended for our schools into the actual school systems, uh, that would mean a significant increase in funding uh, for every school in the state. A school aid budget was passed by the Michigan legislature last month, but it received backlash from educators and people like McCann because several areas of the funding were cut from schools. Last year's budget was transformative in many ways, and I think myself and, and other education advocates around the state you know, loudly applauded the legislature and the governor for really listening to what the experts were saying and not just uh, what kind of dollars needed to be put into our schools, but how the state was going to allocate them so that the schools could best invest them. And unfortunately, this year's budget absolutely does go backwards. McCann says if all those lottery dollars went to the budget and was used for districts, then programs could be better funded. But it would allow more targeted spending in areas that are desperately in need of it, like special education programming, ELL, at-risk programming. You know, these are the over-the-top services that schools are providing so many of our students because they're necessary, but that our state hasn't adequately kept up the funding for. It's important to note the school budget doesn't depend solely on these lottery dollars. It's only about 5% of the total school aid funds. I'm Courtney Bennett reporting.